All right, guys. I uh, got a sealed lead acid battery here. Uh, non spillable. Uh, this thing's been sitting out in my yard for, Jesus, like six years probably, or more. Um, and to restore these, or maybe to restore them. <laughs> uh, sometimes you can, sometimes you just can't. You know, it's either a dead cell or something, and there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. Um, go ahead and take your razor blade and go in here. About three or four times and do it on the other side. And then get you a small screwdriver, start prying this cover up. And you'll see that they'll break the little tabs off. Yeah. And then they'll have these little rubber caps on them. Be careful not to pop them open and then it splash in your eyes so maybe get a towel or something put up in here and then pop them off with the screwdriver and then uh, get you some distilled water and an eyedropper or whatever you got and just fill them up until they're full It'll take quite a bit. Make sure it's distilled water. You don't want to put nothing else in here. Don't put no more acid or anything. You'll ruin it. All this does is pretty much kind of restore the capacity a little bit. Um, this, like I said, this has been sitting for so long. It only had about a half a volt, I think. And I had it on my little custom made float charger there for about two days now and it's up to a seven and a half I think now I could use a little bit more, but uh, after you get all that done, leave the caps off of them and put it on a uh, 10 amp battery charger for you know a few hours, see if the voltage ever comes up. And uh, if it does, then go ahead and charge it with a uh, regular charger. Uh, that's for these, and this is actually for them. It was out of a Black & Decker Spotlight. It's uh, made to charge uh, sealed lead acid batteries. And uh, it won't charge it over, I think, 13.5 volts. So it's like a, it's a special one that turns off once it's charged, and then it'll turn back on when it needs to. So yeah, I'll uh, get it, get this charging, and uh, put back together, and uh, see what the voltage is. Let's go ahead and see what it is now. Kind of hard. Well, I got I got them the uh, post switched. This is, yeah. But seven and a half. So it might turn back working again. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out here in just a second. 
Alright, well, it's not looking too good. Battery charger's at about 14 volts. So, and we kill power to that. It goes and drops to around 8, 8 and a half. So, we got about another volt out of it at least, but... Uh, this battery is probably too far gone, maybe. It has pretty much no capacity. Um, I tried a, uh, using a wiper motor here off a, an old car. No, uh, it wouldn't even move it. I've had the charger on it for about a couple hours. So, I don't know if this battery's going to turn out. I'm going to put it on the uh, float charger all night long. Probably keep it on this for another couple hours and then uh, go ahead and turn it all off. And put it on the float charger. See, it's still going down. And the cells aren't even bubbling up at all. But when you have it charging like this, when you test each one of the cells, uh, you get about, you know, two volts, like you're supposed to. So, I don't know. I fixed a couple of them like this. Different uh, sealed batteries just by adding water and charging them back up. But... I'll let you know. I'll let you know in the uh, description if uh, if it turns out or not.